Hello there and thank you very much for opening up this video. I'm shooting this video on the Friday the 1st of November 2024, four days before the American presidential election. Now I'm admittedly the UK's biggest supporter of Donald J Trump and it's no secret among my family that I've got relatives in America who will not speak to me because of that. Um, I haven't lost any sleep over it but that's a different story altogether. But speaking as Trump's biggest supporter in the UK, I'm going to give you seven reasons what today why his economic policies are going to give a lot more prosperity, higher wages, lower taxation, and basically a much better quality of life for all American people. So without further ado, let me give you the seven reasons. The first thing he's going to do, he's going to re uh, reduce your equivalent of corporation tax. Now ask yourself one question. Have, why is it companies such as eBay, Google, Facebook, PayPal and Amazon have their European offices in Ireland? Have you any idea? The reason being their corporation tax is 15%, whereas in most countries in Europe it's about 20 Now the thing here is, if you think about it, they invest in Ireland. Their, head, their European office is in Ireland as opposed to Europe. So by lowering that tax reason, the, your version of, of corporation tax, these companies will stay in America. It makes much more sense. Now, it wouldn't surprise me in the very least if these huge companies actually held, had their holding company in Belize. The simple reason being the corporation tax in Belize is just 1%. So basically, you know, you know basically the, the, hold, uh, the home country can't get any hold of that tax. So by lowering your equivalent of corporation tax, that's why he's doing it. So he's absolutely right. By basically reducing your equivalent of corporation tax, American companies will stay in America and invest in American people and American companies. That's the first reason. So he's very, very clever in doing that. The second one is the huge tax relief on employees' wages. Now, believe it or not, by giving tax relief on employees' wages, that actually increases uh, employment. Let me explain. Let's assume that he gives you 500, uh, an employer 500% tax relief on an employee's wage. So let's say I hire you for $20,000. 500% tax relief on that will be tax relief on $100,000. Your version of corporation tax is about 20%. So therefore, the, ta uh, the tax on $100,000 is $20,000. In other words, hiring you would be free. An employer is going to think it's going to be cheaper for me to hire someone than it is to pay taxes. An employer will also think, to reduce my ta uh, my tax bill, I could also give my employees a higher wage. This is why under the last presidency, employment plummeted, and basically what happened, wages rose. That's why. Very, very clever. It's a lot better to have a larger number of people paying a small amount of tax than or one l large company paying you a large amount of tax, because if that company goes bust, you've had it. <coughs> The next thing he's going to do very, very cleverly is that he's going to put a tax on, I believe it's 60% on items coming from China. I won't be in the least bit surprised if he puts a tax on other countries bringing stuff into America. That's going to encourage American people to buy American made items. Very, very clever. By, because basically what happens is it recycles money within American communities. It's very, very clever. And he's absolutely right to put American first. The American people first and every co uh, country in the world every government should put its own people first so for example American cars would be made out of American steel the uh, tires are made from American rubber and gasoline comes from American gasoline suppliers etc etc it just makes very very good sense the next thing I can see he's obviously going to do he's going to make sure that American companies get American government contracts. It makes good sense and basically what happens is these American co companies will get government contracts and obviously make a lot of money from it. There's no benefit whatsoever in giving government contracts to overseas companies. You want to make sure they stay in America. The next one <clears throat> is that, uh, what, what do you call it, you're obviously by the, all this having more people will be paying taxes into the system. That makes much much more sense. So you've got people paying well, high, more people being employed. Those people having higher wages, they're paying more tax into the taxation system. That leads to more prosperity for, for everyone. The converse of that 
is that there's fewer people paying social, paying into social security. There are more fewer people claiming social security. So that makes a lot more sense. And ultimately, this leads to more trade. In the long run, and not many people know this, is that your budget and trade deficits basically become lower. Okay. Now, for example, in Germany, they used to have a trade surplus, not a trade deficit. You see, what actually happens is in, in Germany, and I speak in this because I used to go out with a German girl, is that German people will pay more money for an item made in Germany than an item made from abroad. And that's led to a trade surplus in America. I mean, in Germany, I should say. Um, politicians in Germany lose their jobs if the trade surplus is not high enough. We in the West talk about the trade deficit, but in Germany they have a trade surplus. So he's absolutely right to put a tax on foreign-made items to basically people get people to buy American. These hints, I've, uh, these things I've told you about are simple common sense, but they will encourage far, far, far greater uh, prosperity, employment, higher wages, and m massively reduced unemployment in America. Now, trust me when I say that there are hundreds of millions of people throughout the world praying for that Donald Trump is elected back into the White Oval Office of the White House. Let me explain. There's no secret that in 2020 he was cheated out of his second term of office. No secret about that. Now, the thing here is, <clears throat> since then, we've had the calamity of the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan. We've had the Russian invasion of Ukraine. We've also had the conflict in the Middle East. Not, none of these events would ever have taken place under a Trump presidency. Not in and by a long shot. And Trump has openly promised that he'll end the war in Ukraine within days of him taking office. It's not about winning. It's not about losing. It's not about taking sides. It's about saving innocent lives. So from the bottom of my heart, <clears throat> for the sake of the people of the world, please, 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 if you are in America, Please re-elect President Donald Trump. Thank you very much for your time. I'll speak to you soon, but please vote the Donald back into office. Bye-bye.